Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right folks, so for this video I'm going to be taking you around this rather beautiful release that I got for Reservoir Dogs. And as you can see it comes in this rather deluxe looking edition. This is from a website called Ply on Pictures, they're a German company. And uh, I actually pre-ordered this a month ago. I didn't actually realize I was pre-ordering it. I thought I was actually just buying it straight out. I didn't know it was actually just up for pre-order. So I had to wait a month. But uh, look, I got it through the door. It's fantastic. Can't wait to show you everything that's inside this one. But look, that will be coming up very, very soon. But as of making this video right now, it is still available on their website. I think I got it for, I think it was 50 euro. I think I'm right in saying that. 45, 50, something like that. So yes, it's still available on their website. So if you are interested, go on over and grab yourself a copy, a copy of it. Now, the only problem is I'm almost certain this company don't ship to the UK, which is ridiculous when you think about it. Uh, I don't understand why that is. So uh, anyone in the UK, you'll have to probably try and get around that. Use maybe Address Pal or something like that. But uh, yes, it is on their website. So the one thing when it comes to Reservoir Dogs is, uh, and I'm sure a lot of people out there, anyone that's aware of my channel know this, but this is my, <laughs> this is my first viewing of this movie. And to say that there was so much hype surrounding this movie would be a, a massive understatement. And uh, yes, you'd be curious to hear that uh, I absolutely loved the movie. I thought it was great. I really enjoyed it. I don't think it lived up to the hype. But I don't think any movie could live up to that kind of hype. But you never know, on my second viewing, it might even be better again. But as of right now, I thought it was great. It's your typical Quentin Tarantino movie. It is character driven, it is dialogue driven. And when you have a movie like that, with great characters, great dialogue, you need a great cast. And my God, Quentin has delivered with the cast here. Like Harvey Cattell, I thought was fantastic in it. Chris Penn, wow, to actually only see Footloose a couple of weeks ago and to see Chris Penn in this and how different he actually is, is uh, quite uh, frightening to say the least. You also got Tim Roth in there as well. And even though for the most part he's lying on the floor in a pool of his own blood, I thought he was quite brilliant in it. He was quite convincing. He seemed like he was in a lot of pain. And Michael Madsen is terrifying. He is absolutely terrifying. That, that uh, interrogating or that torture scene. Oh my goodness. Uh, wow. I was talking about it being on the edge of your seat. It was absolutely incredible. But the one star of the show for me, or the one, the one cast member, was Steve Buscemi. You see, the thing with me and Steve Buscemi is I always see him as this kind of comedic actor. i never seen him like this before. And I thought, I actually thought it was an Oscar-worthy performance. I thought he was phenomenal. He really, really was. Uh, like I said, the movie was incredible. I was quite surprised by the way it was done. Uh, because I was waiting, I'm just wait, as the movie was going on and going on and going on, I was actually waiting to see the heist, but they never actually show the heist in it. You just have to go by everything they actually say in it, which I thought was quite clever. And there was a few standout scenes for me that I absolutely love. One was right at the start, uh, when they started the whole tipping scene. I thought uh, Steve Buscemi, uh, you <laughs> cheap bastard. <laughs> I thought he was fantastic. That, that entire segment that dialogue segment was unbelievable and then there was another scene that stood out for me uh it is when they were all uh given their names and again steve buscemi him complaining about you know being mr pink you know he wanted to be mr purple <laughs> and, and i think uh, quentin tarantino comes in and he says uh, i'm not too thrilled about being mr brown it's too close to mr shit <laughs> um, it was just fantastic dialogue there was even lines in it lines in it that really stood out for me you know some just again great dialogue i think harvey cattell says one line and as a matter of fact it's featured in this box set where he says something like uh, if you shoot me in your dreams you better wake up and apologize and the minute he said that i just looked at ellen and i was like wow that is a fantastic line so yeah folks uh, it goes without saying as you can tell by the video i am absolutely ecstatic with this uh, with this movie i it, it didn't quite live up to the hype but take nothing away from it it is it was just it was fantastic it really really was and i've only got one more movie to go now when it comes to quentin tarantino and it is pulp fiction <laughs> do i dare go out and buy it now or do i wait and see if maybe a german company will give us a release like this i don't know what to do but i'm still in two minds but look can't wait to see pulp fiction uh now i've checked out naturally the 4k release that you get inside this and the picture quality is holy shit it's astonishing 
I never, I never thought the movie was going to look as good as it does here. The one thing that stands out for me, and it's a weird thing for it to stand out, but it does. Uh, but Tim Roth, like I said to you, is, for the bulk of this movie, he's just lying in a pool of his own blood. And the way that the colours handle that blood, there's this real crimson red look to it. And you can see it's glistening. There's that much detail on the picture. It was actually almost, it's almost upsetting to look at. It looked a little too real. Uh, so the picture quality, yes, all across the board, this lovely light level layer of grain, incredibly fine grain hairs have nothing to worry about. It is a stellar, and I mean a stellar looking 4K picture. As of right now, it is the best 4K transfer I've seen on a Quentin Tarantino movie. But having said that, I was told Pulp Fiction looks better, so I can't imagine it. I really can't, but look, I'm hoping to be proven wrong. But as of right now, yes, this one is leading the pack in terms of picture quality. And uh, the sound was great as well, no problems whatsoever. It goes without saying, it is dialogue driven, it is mostly front heavy, and uh, the 5.1 DTS that you get on this sounds fantastic, it really, really does. Right, folks, so I'm going to take you around this release and I'm going to show you everything that's inside it. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Right, so here we go, Reservoir Dogs. So the first thing I'm going to say right at the start here is the box itself is a nice, hard, rigid box, as you come to expect. Now, when it comes to the artwork itself, look, it's as simplistic as it gets. You simply got Reservoir Dogs, you got the names of the cast up there, you got Quentin Tarantino and a couple of characters down the bottom as well. Like I said, very simplistic, but you know what? I wouldn't change a thing. I think it looks fantastic. So there's not much else to talk about. So I will make it my way to uh, the spine of this one. And as you can see, it is quite a meaty looking addition. And it needs to be when you see all the contents that's inside it. And then right around to the back. And as you can see, there is a quote from Mr. Blonde. Uh, are you going to bark all day, little doggy, or are you going to bite? Uh, another great, great line. So many great lines in this movie. Uh, so yes, that's all that's on the back of this one. You got a couple of credits as well. Not, not much else to be seen. So uh, there's nothing on the top or bottom of it, as you can see. So I'll turn it back around and I will open it up. And the first thing you are greeted to is the J card. So uh, I'll just quickly show you the J card. Uh, now this was attached to the back of the box set naturally, but it was held on by one glue spot and it just kept falling off. So um, I opted to put it inside the set. But as you can see, it shows you all the contents that's inside this release and uh, some of your technical aspects down the bottom there as well. So that is the J card. Uh, bring the box set back in. And here we go. This is the start of the actual contents. So I'm going to show you uh, these uh, postcards. And as you can see, it is a character and, you know, a memorable line from the movie from each character. So you got Mr. White, uh, Mr. Blonde, of course, Mr. Orange. So if you do want to pause this and read the lines, by all means, do so. Mr. Pink again, Steve Buscemi. One of so many great lines from him in this movie. Uh, Joe Cabot, I think that's his name. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And then, of course, you got nice guy Eddie. And then there's a picture of the entire cast together. And then one last still, Harvey Cattell and Steve Buscemi. So there you go, folks. That is all the cards that's inside this. There's nothing on the backs of them. Uh, have a nice high gloss finish as well. So uh, put that to a side. Let's bring the box set back in. And the next thing up is uh, this Blu-ray release we have. And I haven't checked this out, but something's telling me it is a documentary on Quentin Tarantino, The Bloody Genius. As you can see, there's quite a big uh, cast there as well. So I'm uh, really looking forward to uh, checking this one out. And if you could let me in the... Uh, let me know in the comment section what this is like. Uh, please do. Uh, I really do appreciate that. But as you can see, it's shown the cast there as well. No surprise to see Samuel L. Jackson in there. And there's even some extra features on this as well. So uh, yes, this is going to be good to watch. And that is your Blu-ray disc. As you can see, there is reversible art, but it's the exact same. The only difference is uh, there's a rating sticker on the other side. So there you go. Uh, the Bloody Genius. That's going to be good to check out. So back into the box we go. So the next thing you have here is you've got three uh, posters, which I will show at the end of the video because they're quite big and there's no way I'd get them into frame here. So the next thing you have is a booklet. And uh, unfortunately, most of this is in German. But when you do turn it around to the back, there is another quote from Mr. Pink. And as you can see, it is in English. 
and uh, you got a bit of blood splatter there as well but uh, unfortunately like I said uh, the rest of the booklet is in German which is a bit of a shame but uh, as you can I suppose you can appreciate some of the uh, stills that you can see there as a matter of fact there is that scene there I did I forgot to say it at the start of this video but my god that scene in 4k there is so much depth to the picture it's it's quite incredible that's that scene really stood out for me so uh, right that is the booklet itself as you can see it's the same artwork on the main box so back in with the box uh, box sesh uh, you are greeted then to uh, a simple little keychain here and as you can see it is a uh, K Billy uh, super sounds of the 70s and I think that is featured you hear they talk about it at the start of the movie and as a matter of fact I think that's the radio channel that Michael Madsen puts on for uh, stuck in the middle so uh, yes a simple keychain nice bit of weight to it has to be said I don't have to take it out of plastic because uh, you get a good idea of what it's all about so yes uh, K Billy and lastly we are down to the bottom here and we have the steel book release of it and uh, I fell in love with this release the minute I see I always wanted this edition and thank god I never picked it up uh, as soon as I seen it was featured in this box that I knew then uh, I had to pick this one up but uh, the steel book does come with a nice slip cover as you can see it is the cop that they actually kidnap as you can see his ear is attached but it won't be for long uh, but as you can see the blood kind of trickering down you can actually sort of see the cast there as well so it's uh, quite a great uh, design choice on this steel book. But uh, I'll turn it around and I'll show you the spine of this one quickly. And then right around to the back. And there you go. You got a right up of the movie on top. And of course you got your special features there in the middle. And your technical aspects as well. And as you can see region B locked for the Blu-ray. So just be wide. So turn it back around and here we go. This is the removal of the ear. And... <laughs> I think that's quite clever. I like that. So onto the steelbook itself. And as you can see where his ear was, you just simply got Reservoir Dogs. Now I'm almost certain there was people complaining about the steelbook. I, I don't know how you could possibly complain about it. I think it's quite brilliant. But uh, again, the spine of it there. As you can see, the picture is carrying on. Oh, and he dropped it there. Or it did drop it. <laughs> um, and we have got the back of the steel book and as you can see it does form one picture you can sort of see the radio there you got water bottles but uh, it makes so much more sense when i open it up and there you have it i think it's a great design choice i really do i like it a lot and when you get that slip cover with it it just really completes it and there we go that is your 4k disc on the left hand side and your blu-ray disc on the right hand side as you can see uh, different disc uh, colors I think it is basically which is always nice to see so uh, I'll just remove the discs and let you have a look at the uh, inside of the steelbook itself so there you have it so all that's left to do folks is to actually show you the three posters that you get inside it which I'm going to do right now right so here we go this is the first of three posters that you do get inside it and again just bear in mind my history with this movie is not the greatest but I think that is the original artwork as you can see reservoir dogs written on the top there a big pile of blood splatter and of course you got a lot of the characters from the movie itself so that's the first i will take you on to the second right so on to the second and apologies again for the light glare folks it just can't be helped unfortunately but look i think you get an idea of this second poster as you can see the color scheme is quite different it's a bit of a more brown look to it but you got the cast there as well you got reservoir dogs in the red as well and uh, down the bottom is just simply credits so uh, again apologies for that like Leo right so all it's left to do is to show the third one right so this is the third and as you can see it's the exact same artwork that we have on the main box set and they've opted to go back to the kind of red and white color scheme which I rather enjoy so uh, yeah, here you go folks that is all the posters that you get inside this release of Reservoir Dogs Right, so before I let you go, I'm just going to throw everything back into the box. Just give you a quick recap. So you have the uh, the 4K Steelbook uh, that goes in first. Then you've got that keychain of K Billy uh, that goes in the top there. Then, of course, uh, you've got that booklet. And uh, you have those three posters that I just showed off there a few seconds ago. And let me put them in without any issues. There we go. Of course, you've got the Blu-ray release, uh, Tarantino, The Bloody Genius. Uh, you have these uh, postcards as well. Nice high gloss finish on them. And then, of course, uh, the J card itself uh, sitting on top. 
And that is everything when it comes to this release of Reservoir Dogs. Right folks, so there you have it. That is my release of Reservoir Dogs and it's actually great to get an edition that lives up to the actual movie itself. It is absolutely beautiful. And like I said at the start of this video, it's still available on Play on Pictures website. And if you are interested, get on over, grab yourself a copy of it. So there you have it folks. So as per usual, if you did like what you see here, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below and please share your thoughts on this movie and what did you think of the release of it. And yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.